Now this is the uh, Dell Optiplex 960 model. This is a very old uh, uh, computer that we used for work and they are literally chucking them away um, to get it recycled and I got a few of them for myself just to check out what's inside like so I can show it to you guys how it is. Now this is the Core 2 Duo model. Now having so in being such an old uh, um, computer it doesn't mean to say it's end of life in some countries this will be regarded as very high spec in some cases so I'm not saying yeah go and buy those of these I'm just saying it could be used for basic purpose and this is what I'm, my intention is I'm trying to open it up and show it to you how it is and how you can clean it up and how you can reset it to because uh, being in my work machine this was but this has been administration locked I'll show you how to unlock it so you can use it yourself um, in terms of size it's basically length of my arm if you see my arm there so is that you know the, the size I have got a smaller one which literally just uh, I know if I show you from here um, it is from there to there you can just about see it so it is uh, uh, this is slightly larger size and normally you'd have a monitor with it as well but in this case I've just got the base unit and I'll show you the inside of it in a second So this is the Dell Optiplex 960 and I'll show you how easy it is to open up and what the inside looks like. Now, this is older model than I said before and in the back you'll notice, I don't know if you can see the close up there, um, it doesn't have any HDMI but it's got the display port which you normally use, it's got the VGA which is fine. You've got the other peripherals that you could actually use your, uh, you know, for other things. Like you've got quite a few USB, which is quite good. There's two, four, six USB, and you've got the Ethernet cable and power supply. The power supply and this is very small, and you'll see how it is. Now, let's open it up and have a look. So, it's a simple process. You literally, little thing here, you just pull it up, and this comes off. Wow, and it is going to be a bit dusty in there and I'll show you how over you can see already on here dust everywhere um, I'll put that to the side. I'll get that cleaned off in a minute I'll Just give it a bit of love and care and things should be back to normal again. What I like about Dell is the way they put things together um, It is in the simplest form. It is very dusty. So to take this off. It's just literally uh, just Come off I just pull this, press these two things here, open up, voila, and then it just come, comes off. In this case, this doesn't put in properly. Now inside, you've got the normal CD drive, which literally slots in. It's so easy to take out. Everything comes apart. So I'm going to hoover all these up. I'm going to take this out quickly. Take this off. This comes off. I'm not going to touch the CPU as such. Better not to touch what you what might break. Uh, I'm just going to give it a good clean and even the this CD bit here, if I remember now correctly, the front literally comes off like this and there you go, the front's off, put it to the side and that leaves me with the CD drive which is, um, show you the shake there, I think if I'm right, you should you push it like this and it moves, so it just literally comes off like that. Take these bits off, oh, once again. And then, oh, this has got a lot more RAM than the other ones did. Which I'm, I'm getting quite happy seeing some of these stuff. I know it's an old machine, but um, seeing things that, so let's have a look at what RAMs. I'm gonna clean these up anyway, so I'm gonna take this out. Oh, is that tight fitting there. Undo them all first. Oh, they pop out now, don't they? Well, wow. oh, that's come off. Should have grounded myself first, but I don't think it'll be that much of a risk. So, what have we got here? This one looks like slightly one gig. So one, two, three, four. So they all cut the other two had uh, two cards uh, sticks with their uh, four gig. This one's probably just got. Um, they're probably all the same, aren't they? Yeah, one gig. They're all one gig. And again, one gig. Make more space and again one gig. So what I'm going to do now is basically just clean it all out and um, give it a good clean and put it back together again. 
I was going to put the SSD on thinking this one didn't have it on it to make it faster but in this case I won it'll be a good useful PC for children to just do their basic stuff on or and work on or anywhere that needs to be used for a work machine only it's not recommended for gaming I can tell you that right away but uh, you know you never know these things uh, um, can be upgraded in some to the point but with the, this processor I wouldn't recommend it at all so in terms of cleaning I've got my trusty Dyson handheld one I would normally use the other one uh, the bigger one actually um, I'm just going to quickly go over with this first only touching the bits that can be touched I try to avoid circuitries and stuff I don't want to move anything about um, This is the power supply, it's got a bit of dust on the side there. Really... Oh dear, ooh, blow me. That was not good. Okay, let's get the other one out. I just dropped a little bit of dust on there again. So change of plan using the larger machine. Well, after having all the dust been taken out, uh, especially from the fan here, which sort of draws air into the system and then cools the hard drive as well, which is sort of placed there and takes it out to the back, but it was completely blocked on this side here. Uh, the power supply itself wasn't bad at all, but it's almost like giving you, you know, fresh air sort of going much more easily. It's a breath of fresh air for the machine itself. Um, yeah, so now all I'm gonna do is put it back all together um, I'll put the RAM on first. You literally put it back opposite for what you've done. Put this other side. Just got to make sure the smaller side goes in the smaller side, which I think is the set. I'll just do it. Hoping they're identical, which should be. Right, yeah, that's right. Oh, it's getting tougher than I thought. Okay. You get this right, yeah. It should just slot in now. There we go, that's one. This one side of this side. There we go. Put it in there. The next one goes into this one. And the last one. Could have upgraded these, but four gig is, uh, um, you know, Sufficient for basic use for Word documents and stuff like that, but you're not expecting a lot from like very small cost. These are literally worthless in some cases. So now, RAM's in. So this was, if I'm right, for the hard drive, and this is for the CD ROM. So let's put this back in here again. It should be simple as doing this. In. Main thing is, it shouldn't clog up or overheat now. You do this side here, and you put it down on the back, as much as possible, you push it down on the back, so it's a little hook there, and you push it in, it slots in. It's flat now. Okay, next bit is, I might as well put this back on. Now, these are easy, the little grooves there, they go into this bit here. Make sure they're all in and just, I love the way it comes together. I wish all the machines were like this, but uh, you know. All right, so have I hoovered this bit up? I haven't hoovered this one up, have I? Okay, just gonna do that. 
basically making sure, um, basically making sure it's all clean as much as it can be. I mean, a bit of dust is not going to hurt anything. Um, now, when it was put back on, it wasn't put on properly for some reason. So we're going to attempt to do this properly as we can. Maybe I'll try this way. Yep, this is the way it is. Voila! And that gives me access to that bit. So let's connect it all up. Should have known not to get out. Somebody must have put it on the wrong way around. What does that mean? As usual. So this one. Now, so simply. Keeping it down like this. Sorry about all the noises. It's what happens when you have children. So it just needs to go into the scraps here. Put it in like this. Voila, done. Ooh. And it comes off so easily as well. Just to show you. Last thing. All right, now this is the important bit. Let me under make clarify all this. When I got this, when you turn it on, um, what it happens is it literally goes into an administration mode where you have to put the passwords in. And uh, I can assure you uh, with most uh, company computers, they tend to do that. And I will show you how to take it out. So simply, so it doesn't have that problem when you first time log in, you can't install anything, do anything with it because it's been locked to the um, company that's been with and they only know the password and hide, they're not going to give me the password of course for my workplace so easiest way to do it is basically just to there's a little pin there you see that I'll get the light on there if you can um, there's a little pin there you just take this pin out that's it connect to pins comes off and now it's ready and you won't have the password and if you put it back in you probably will go back to the password again so if you keep it off and now you can use your own passwords and it should be done so that's how easy it is to reset it so you can use it at home after you get it from work <laughs> all right there you go um that's all set up and ready to go and i'll turn it on and show you what it looks like just put the last bit in now and then job done. So you can just slot it in like this, close it like that. Oh yeah. Always something with it. This just holds the uh, cards and stuff in there, so I just put that in there, close it down. Connecting this up is basically I've got this uh, display port to HDMI so I can connect it to this TV here. So you just connect the display port up. So that's in. And then it gives me a chance to I just take the power of my other computer and connect it to this one in a minute. And I'll do the HDMI from the other one. Come on. This one now I connect to. I'll put this on first. And power will go straight onto here. And the power is on. Here they made a noise. I'm going to turn it on from the front. Oh, it's got the Windows 7 Enterprise. Okay, that's even older. So that's fine. I'll just erase that. And put a new one on. So the being a work machine, um, it requires my login details. Um, and this is basically you know, uh, just left over from the uh, end of line specs that they were replacing with. So I was allowed to take a couple of home just to play around with it. And this is what I can show you. So um, I will be installing Windows 10. And after that, um, basically let's just have whoever wants it, they can have it. And I'll just let them have fun with it as much as they want. And as I said to you, it's quite easy to go past the admin side when you log into the BIOS part of it. You just need to take that pin out, and uh, which I've shown you, and that's how you 
reset the uh, uh, BIOS so you don't need the password and you can set your own password up afterwards. So last bit of it, this Dell machine, um, it's all working fine, it's loaded up perfectly. So uh, I'm just gonna um, use it for a short time, uh, maybe get some Windows installed on it and hopefully it'll be all done soon and give it to somebody who may want it or need it. So thank you very much for watching and hope to bring some more fun stuff to you guys. Um, I hope this has been helpful just to show how Dell makes their product, which I can see very well. I love the inside of the machine. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much and take care.